Hello here is Baby Walker, welcome to my channel again. Today I got for you something new, just this electronic drum kit. It will allow you to play at home and practice. It's a uh, eight symbol, uh, you know, complete match with two pedals and we will do a quick, you know, work around how it's, you know, connected and what's going on about this electronic drum kit. So let's get started. Okay, so if you are interested how to build such, you know, setup, if you buy it and you know, want to know how to do this, I have a footage about the complete assembly. So please give me a comment and I will prepare such video. It's a lot of material. However, you may be interested in how to, you know, connect all those stuff together. You have an instruction manual. However, it could be confusing at the beginning. And the heart of the system of this Alessis Turbo uh, Mesh Kit is this Turbo Drum module, which is actually a CPU processor when you're connecting all the stuff, you need plugging and power, and I, I will show you everything that you need to know about connecting and what they have here. So the phones, the great advantage of electronic drum kit is that you can play without speakers, so you can only use a uh, headphones and practice in almost complete silence. Thanks to this, that this is mesh kit. Mesh means, you know, it's not a plastic, and if you're hitting it with, you know. This is complete, you know, silence. Now we have disconnected the speakers and all the module is disabled, so you can almost hear anything and all the, you know, sound goes to your headphones. Okay, so next is the uh, aux in, auxiliary input, uh, one eight uh, inch or AK in Europe, uh, 3.5 millimeter jack, which means if you have an external, you know, even old, radio mp3 player you can plug it and play the backing tracks and those backing tracks will be sent to you your headphones so you will be able to uh, practice with backing tracks two main outputs quarter inch jacks uh, they are connected in my you know setup they're connected to speakers my old 5.1 uh, home cinema system uh, it's you know you, of course, you can buy a, a dedicated speaker, however, it costs a lot and then they won't want to invest a lot of money. Uh, it has a great, you know, subwoofer, so the bass is, kick is really good and you will listen it in a moment. Uh, so, stereo output, left and right, of course, uh, you can use one of the channel, for example, to connect to a Zoom H4 or any other uh, recorder. And today we are recording everything using the built-in mic in the camera. So forgive me, please, for the quality. However, I would like to give you the ambient sound, how it feels when you are listening as the, you know, a person standing. And not super high quality recording uh, using, you know, the external device. So <clears throat> we will be recording using mics today, everything. Okay, so this device actually works as MIDI. Each symbols that you have is connected with, uh, you know, cable. Maybe it will be seen from this perspective. It's a hi-hat, it's a snare drum. So you get cables to each symbol and all this, you know, piece of uh, cables are inserted in here from the, you know, uh, from the bottom of the device. However, the setup is very simple and I would like to show you a basic operation, how it, you know, works and what can you do in here. So to enable to start, you are pressing power button and you will see the preset, the program, uh, it's electronic drums. So it, ha it have a lot of programs, different programs. And the, the basic, the standard uh, preset number one is a rock preset but let me change my camera gear for a moment okay so now I think we will be able to play something and show you something uh, how it operates so last edges okay so this is a snare drum okay I think it's too loud for okay. 20 so as I said, the speakers are connected to my old home cinema, which has a five speakers around 
they are in the bass turbo bass mode which gives me a really nice kick so this is kick pedal second foot hi-hat track cymbal and toms the, the you know uh, okay so because of the camera i would like to show you some operation stuff but if you are interested in um, playing so this is the preset number one okay and let's go forward about the you know manual because this is a manual so to change the preset to another you are pressing here or just using this plus minus button so the second one the third That was the three tones, cymbals, hi-hat, crash, etc. Okay, and to go forward, because there is much, uh, you know, there is only five buttons, but if you press the variation key, you are entering the next page, I mean the continuation, so the one will be six, the two, so everything with this variation enabled is, you know, plus five. So the first one is the sixth. So, so it was the very fast, you know, demonstration of all those uh, presets. If you start a machine from the, you know, beginning, it always start with the number one. This rock classic, uh, you know, drum kit. Oh, well, okay. So what can else you can do in here? So this is basically an, uh, you know, entry level educational drum kit, which is good for children, as you may see. As you can see, and I'm in a uh, you know, children's room, so here you can practice. Uh, and here is uh, an, a, a lot of nice features. I don't want to explain you all. However, you get the backing tracks to play with them. Uh, but my recommended way to start, you know, every, anything with this is to, you know, if, if, you, if you are, you know, familiar with how to sit in front of the... Uh, drum kit uh, I also want to make a video maybe maybe next week about the position how to set up all of this uh, and so on however the great thing in here is this coach mode so if you press those two buttons pattern and tempo simultaneously you are entering in different you know uh, programs for learning and the first one go BHC is you know to practice with metrum so basically uh, if you press start there will be metrum if you stop and if you press tempo you will see which the default is 110 BPM so if you press start and you will try to play in this rhythm for example on a snares And you will see here if I am on a stop if I am on a, this area those two green are lighting which means I'm in tempo if I'm here it means you are too fast here is too slow so it's a great for you know practicing uh, playing with tempo 
And if you are not satisfied with this metronome sounds, you can change it by uh, pressing click. No, sorry, 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 sorry. Click and one simultaneously. It's a hack. And then you have click and now and you have a few clicks metronome sounds. So the second one is like this. Okay. Stop. Everything, if you if it's enabled and it's playing, you always need to stop because all the other functions won't be working. So it's a great tip for you. Because you may be, you know, disturbed why it does not work. However, if you want to go back to the main screen where the, set, the drum kit selected. So let's, you are pressing again those two simultaneously. However, remember, you don't have to stop the, the metronome, the, the beat, the lesson. So again, let's go to this um, metron training and click and one and change another. Stop. If you want to change the tempo, if you're a you know, expert and you want to play faster, you can go up with the tempo. However, let's try to be in this. With kicks, it's really simple. Just pressing one, one. Okay, the only, the only error was at the end with the crash. I was a little bit too fast. However, you can see the, you know, the the concept of this. It's great. For me, as a you know, beginner in drums, practicing with metronome is absolutely fantastic. And without you know expensive, you know, teacher, whatever, private lessons, you are able to train your metronome and play with tempo. It's a great, great, great feature. Of course, uh, another uh, lessons like you know, speeding up the tempo, uh, repeating the beat, and so on and so on. But at the early beginning. I recommend you use this first less this first you know coach program. It's great. Okay, so we have everything stopped. We can go uh, back and and have this. Okay, so um, at the end I will give you some demonstration maybe freestyle. Uh, if you have any question, more question about connecting everything, the volume here allows you to you know change the volume of the drums on the speakers, and I will also show you on the. The overall demonstration how it works. So give me a second. I will switch the camera. So this is the first pattern. Okay, let's try. Okay, I think it's all for now. So let's take a look again about this, you know, setup. So the snare is in here. And if you see it, actually, you should have this between your legs. Uh, those uh, here is the kick for the, your, your uh, right leg. And the pedal is for your left leg if you are right-handed player. So the snare is between your legs. So if you are sitting in here, you should have it something like this. And the height of this, you know, setup here, according to your sitting position, you know, here should be 90 degrees. And the snare 
your arm should be also in 90 degrees. However, you should allow you to lightly put the to put the you know fist on a flat and play the drum, the snarl, the snarl. Okay, I think it's all for now. So if you have any questions about this drum kit, I also am planning to make some videos how to connect it to Yamaha, how to use this MIDI because it sends MIDI to our software like Cubase, FL Studio and so on. You can record it in digital way like taping and you can also record the MIDI signals from this drum kit. So it's a great if you want to, you know, play some very non-standard, non-repetitive uh, drum sets, rhythm sections to use in your composition. So thanks for watching. It was BB Walker and see you later.